Hey, how's it going everybody? I've been using the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra since day one and I've been very critical of this phone since day one. We all remember the the display theme that went on when the when the phone first came out. You know, I was very vocal about that. Um, you know, Samsung fixed it. I was very vocal about the whole lack of the vivid mode theme. Samsung fixed that, you know, so long story short, here I am with a with more of a uh, long-term review. And, uh, you know, I'm, I call it the overcritical review, right? And here's the thing. When it comes to a Samsung Galaxy phone, and I've been using Samsung Galaxy phones forever now, I expect a lot more out of a Samsung phone than I do out of an iPhone. I expect an iPhone to do iPhone stuff. Basically, with my Samsung phone, look, with an iPhone, I mostly use my iPhone for business, right? Now... I'm not saying that I don't use my, my Samsung for business. I can do the same thing for business on here that I do on the iPhone. But there's an extra component to my Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra, a, a higher expectation. And that expectation is, this is also my fun phone. This right here, this phone right here is where the fun happens, right? Whether it's watching movies, whether it's... And the reason it is for watching movies is, number one, the display is the best it's the way it is there is no other way to put that this is the display this is the top display right here that's number one and then number two gaming i'm always playing asphalt nine i do some wings of glory but asphalt nine right this right here i've i've gamed on iphones i've gamed on this right here it's not the same feeling it just don't feel the same listening to music i've talked about this right uh now we got the dolby atmos we got the equalizer on here I love listening to rap music. I can turn up the bass, and I can, I can, it'll, it's like I'm in a car with like four 12-inch woofers, right? I like doing stuff like that. And that's where this phone shines with absolute fun. Now, since I turned it around, cameras. Right now, I'm recording this video with an S23 Ultra. Look, Samsung makes amazing cameras. They have amazing settings for videos, pro mode, all that stuff. If you want the most, if you want the most versatile cameras on a phone at Samsung, right? Now, I'm not over here saying that Samsung always gets it right, but if Samsung gets something wrong, eventually they fix it. And that's cool. Now, as far as everything goes, like meeting my expect, as far as this phone meeting my expectation goes, yes, it's been meeting the expectations. Late, it's not overheating, but lately I've been having some like warming up issues. Um, I'm just, like I said, Last year, or the, even now with the S23 Ultra, my S23 Ultra last year, I'll just say last year, the last review cycle, the S23 Ultra didn't get warm one bit. This does, but it'll do it at some weird times, and I still think the culprit is or was YouTube. I don't know exactly. Maybe it's the, the new processor that's in this, whatever, but it's not enough to the point where it's doing anything crazy to the phone. My battery life, I'm eas easily getting through a day. I can do a day and a half, no questions asked. Uh, so stuff like that is going good, right? Battery life. I'm real happy with this phone for what it does. Call quality. Of course, it's great. The speakers on this phone compared to an iPhone 15 pro or an iPhone 15 pro max, the speakers on this, to me, they're a little tinny. They're a little high pitched. And I don't like that. I wish they, I wish they sounded more, I guess, full, more fuller like this or less high pitched. Right. But you know, at the end of the day, that keep it in perspective, it's, they're, phone speakers, right? So it's not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Uh, what else can we talk about here? Call quality is good. Battery life is good. Uh, let me, I want to show you guys something real quick. Hold on. Let me pull up a photo here. Let me grab something really fast. Just a cool photo that I got to show you guys just to, you know, give you guys, well, there you go. I mean, the display on this looks amazing. I just, and I picked this picture right here, you know, full color gamut kind of, there's no greens on here, but anyway, Everything just looks really, really accurate and nice. You got to remember, though, I've been using these Samsung phones forever, so I do have my my vivid mode cranked up. I got my I got my blue tint uh, turned down as well. No, turned up. And I got my. Oh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. All right, so here I am over here. Let's go to display. I'll show you guys what I've got going on. Just real quick to get it to get it. Uh, just so you guys know. All right, so let's come over here to advanced. So I got my red and my green turned down, and I got my blue blasted, right? And of course, I got the vivid blasted, but 
whatever, man. Watch. So, <laughs> to me, this is accurate. I don't know. If you're like me and if you love a vivid display, then you're going to be digging this, all right? But on a scale of 1 to 10, this is getting a 9.5. I know people are going to be like, well, how come you're not giving it a straight 10? Well, because I told you, I got a little bit of that warming up issue going on. So maybe they could work on that, you know, or maybe I'll just give it a 9 because maybe I want the SD card to come back. I don't know. But anyway, let me know if you guys have any special request videos. I want to be making more videos about this phone right here anyway. I love this phone right here. And uh, I'll make a special request video for you guys. I'll hook you up. If you have any questions, I'll answer them in a video. And uh, I will catch all of you in the next one. Take care.